Hey YouTube, it's Nerdcat, and I'm back with another Nerdtastic Halloween episode. This is my last one for this year, so happy Halloween everybody! I figured I would do a real quick last minute Halloween costume idea since this is going up on Halloween, and I found this perfect little prop in the Dollar Tree at, uh, in, near my house, and I thought it was perfect for a last minute quick gore costume. So let's get into the video. Hey, so let's get started. So, like I said, this is really quick and really simple. So first, I just did my regular base. So my um, foundation and my primer and all of that. So just whatever primer foundation you want. But enough, I'm already pale, so I don't really have to go any paler. But if you would like to look a little more dead, a lighter foundation would make more sense. So for the eyes, I'm actually going to be using my aqua paints in purple, blacks, and grays, but you can totally just use regular eyeshadow as well. Really, you're just going to darken up your eyes so they look a little more dead and like, you know, like your corpse. So purples, grays, and blacks are the best things to use. So I started with the purple first all over my eye socket. Um, then I went in with gray on the higher parts of like your cheekbone right under your eye um, to kind of give a gradient. And then I actually go in with black and actually draw all of the creases that my eye naturally has to try and then kind of like buff it out so it has those creases more defined. But um, they're not like, oh look, we painted in lines. They're kind of more natural looking. Really, you're just trying to really darken your eye itself and then make the socket of your eye or the the whole area um, more of a lighter purple and stuff like that. Kind of like bruising. Now I'm just going in and doing a quick kind of contour just like I did with my vamp look um, where I'm taking a dark gray and going on my cheekbones, um, my the bridges, the sides of my nose, parts of my forehead and my jawline because you are supposed to be dead so you would be more hollow in in those areas. There would be more shading. So I just go in with a dark gray eyeshadow to do this. And of course, I gotta add mascara. We all know by now, I have an addiction. Um, but I add the mascara and then I go under the eyes with a little more shading of the dark eyeshadow that I use for my contour, just to, to kind of darken the under circles of my eyes. Then I go in with my classic winged eyeliner, cause I kinda want this whole like, drop dead gorgeous kind of situation with the axe in her head. Um, but yeah, so I do just a classic wing, just to add a little more like beauty to the gore. Then with the lips, I actually added a little bit of a um, pinkish lipstick on and then I went over it with my foundation so that my lips looked um, kind of pale and well, dead. Um, most of uh, the time when you do it, you should have like a base coat of pink and then your foundation on top so it kind of blends in uh, more naturally. So now it's time for the actual prop. So this is just a headband prop. Um, it's lightweight plastic and all that. So I parted my hair like I normally would and then I put in the headband then teased my hair all around the headband itself so that it, you don't see the actual band and all you see is the axe sticking out. With this look, you gotta remember you want your hair messy. Like, 
No one has perfectly coiffed hair when they have an axe in their head. So make it messy and wild as much as you want. And now for the blood. So with this, I actually did um, scab blood and stage blood. Um, I used the scab blood first to kind of clot everything because um, blood kind of does two things when it's an open wound. Some of it will clot and some of it will pour. So having both types of blood kind of makes it a little more realistic. So I put the scab blood first and then dumped stage blood pretty much everywhere I wanted it. With it, I definitely centered a lot of the blood by the blade itself and kind of pulled my hair and some blood up onto the blade so that it looked a little more realistic. And then just kind of dump the blood as much as you want. Um, head wounds actually bleed a lot more than you would think, so I just had fun really dumping the blood everywhere. Also with this, I did make sure that the blood was kind of matting down my hair that was closest to the actual impact as well as kind of dragging some of the blood through some other parts of my hair. Um, really, you just want this to kind of look bloody and messy because it's an axe in your head. So for some finishing touches, I did put some blood coming from my mouth as well as kind of like splattering and like tapping blood um, all over my face. Not in huge clumps, just kind of like little splashes here and there because if you think about it blood moves so it won't stay perfectly in drips or anything like that all the time sometimes if the head moved and there was blood on it it would splash on the face or there would be kind of a backsplash from the impact really i just kind of wanted an all over bloody face without muddying up everything With this look, really, you can go as bloody and gory or as simple as you would like. It's all up to your preference. I just particularly like making a huge mess. <laughs> um, but if you're not really into that or you don't like stage blood or anything like that, you can just do a pretty axe in the head. I've seen other people use this axe in a very pretty, like, fancier way. So it's all up to you. Just have fun with it. And here's the final look in all its bloody gory. Oh my god, I love this look. It was super quick and easy to do. Like I said, um, for a last minute Halloween costume, all you really need was this guy, which I got at Dollar Tree, but I think Spirit Halloween and Party City probably has one as well. Some stage blood and some dark eyeshadows to make yourself look dead. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to kill it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more or see the other Halloween videos from Nerdtastic Halloween, please hit that subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're being for Halloween. Anyway, I hope you guys have a safe and happy Halloween. And until next time, as always, stay nerdy, my friends. Later.